Yo guys and welcome back towards this new video here on the channel and on today's video I'm going to talk about Bitcoin that is currently creating extreme low volume across the markets right here and really not showing a real big move getting generated over the course of this period. And I will be quickly going over about what, why Bitcoin likes to do this and what you do not want to be doing across this moment right now. So what we do know is that historically speaking, once Bitcoin creates such boring price action, low volume, only goes sideways, many people tend to be leaving the space because, yeah, they don't really see interesting price action. They don't get excited anymore about Bitcoin. And that is what creates a loss of interest. And of course, if there's a loss of interest in markets that are trading very cheap, this is, of course, a big signal. Because if you don't know already, and probably everyone is watching right now does clearly know it, if you're buying Bitcoin in periods where the market is down, in periods where many people are not willing to actually buy it, it is historically a little bit more of a better buying opportunity. Just look back at 2018, 2019, 2020. Not many were talking about buying Bitcoin at that point, And that is why it was a good opportunity. It was, of course, buying into fear. It was buying into worse stages where not a lot of people were actually interested to be buying Bitcoin. And of course... This is also happening due to the high fear currently in the market. We are seeing 14 getting touched on the fear and green index. This is, of course, all time highs in terms of fear in the market. And fear equals opportunity, in my opinion. And the fear is extremely high. And there is, of course, a very big potential. Bitcoin potential is going to create another move down here. Or, of course, it could be starting to be bouncing. But yeah, to talk really about that here, first of all, I want to be going over. Who is actually going to sell their Bitcoin if Bitcoin goes below 30,000 US dollars, right? So what we uh, want to be taking into account for that is the realized uh, hold away for Bitcoin. We do know that Bitcoin tends to create these hold waves and in bull runs we of course tend to be seeing of course yeah, these short term holders really entering the market here and right now in these periods where we're right now in we see the long term holders really accumulating and they are not distributing right now and you can clearly see in these cycles and if you compare it to the 2008 18, 2019 run up once the short term holders income on lower ranges in the market is not spiking so significantly it is historically a very good range for accumulation and it is also historically speaking a very good range for bitcoin to be bottoming out from and you can see clearly there's a huge increase for holders that are actually holding longer than one to two years and one plus year basically in this market and that is of course extremely bullish because also if i do just look at this supply loss active for one plus year ago you can just see this massive increasement in these longer term holders in the market right these longer term holders are stepping in they are not selling and that is what eventually will be driving these prices higher and that is of course a thing to just take in account right now you can also clearly see and i think that's a very good thing to look at is the addresses with a balance larger than one bitcoin you can see that there is a massive spike across accumulation for these addresses and if we do look back at the 2018 bear sorry 2019 18 bear market low you can see these one uh one big sorry addresses with more than one bitcoin on it has been accumulating in this range right and that is what basically absorb all the sell pressure on the lower side and we're seeing this thing right now we're seeing a very high score in accumulation there's a yeah of course new ultimate getting formed every single day basically right now uh, but we can clearly see this in high interest for these bitcoin larger um these these larger uh, yeah, more wealthy individuals we can say because if you're buying one bitcoin you're spending thirty thousand dollars you are a little bit more wealthier and that is what you can really see in the market the inflow of these more wealthier people more wealthier in individuals are stepping in right now and they're seeing the long-term opportunity and i think if you're actually buying one bitcoin today you're not buying it to of course sell it again at 60k you're buying it for that long run and right now if we compare these previous runs like 2019 towards where we're right now, you can see that we're similar in terms of the accumulation strength where we're right now in, right? So pretty interesting to look at. And that, of course, makes it for me always worth to not lose my attention right now. And it makes it for me worth the putting in the time and effort right now to make the most amount of money, to make the most of this potential low in the market. Because, yeah, guys, if the market trades low right now here, it means that there is, of course, that big opportunity to make a ton of money in the coming year side of ourselves because 
if you don't know and if you're wondering why are these crypto guys i see them everywhere on, on, on the internet or once you speak to them why are they so rich is because there's only one key rule they work hard in bear markets and that is of course also the time to not lose your focus then going further into bitcoin and there is actually a very interesting development here on that four early time frame you can see we're still trading in this sideways action for bitcoin and we're right now bouncing from that lower side that green box of support and also, yeah, we can clearly see we broke above that falling wedge. The falling wedge has been, of course, a clear pattern where I wanted to be seeing Bitcoin breaking above of. And right now we can clearly see Bitcoin broke above it. And it is right now creating that minor movement towards the upside. Right now we're still trading in the middle side of this range here. And as long as we're not breaking bullish or bearish below this green or red box, we're basically not clearly choosing a direction. We just still have to wait to see exactly where Bitcoin is right now moving and heading towards. Then on the one hour time frame, yeah, you can see clearly downward sloping trend line on the um on this yeah one hour trend line here got broken got retested moved up from of there on pretty interesting also correlation between the s p 500 and bitcoin right now is pretty pretty uh interesting because bitcoin is decoupling in a negative way here s p has been bouncing bitcoin hasn't potentially bitcoin will see that bounce over the course of this weekend so over today potentially near the end of today uh, we could finally start to see some volatility re-enter the market more importantly guys if you're interested in accumulating bitcoin if you're interested in trading or any of these breakouts if we do break bullish or bearish of this horizontal trading range make sure to do it here on bybit bybit is of course definitely the uh, the platform to go for if you're interested in trading you can see uh in the link description that we are having insane bonuses right now here so make sure to check out all the bonuses in the link description uh where you could of course benefit massively from but anyways yeah guys basically what the uh, moral of my story is here is that you do not want to be losing your attention on the market right now bitcoin may have been very boring it is forming a consolidation slash uh yeah is a consolidation pattern and at some point it's going to be breaking out whether it's going to be bullish or bearish i don't care i will be dcaing furthermore in bitcoin i am already pretty heavy because i don't believe that bitcoin Bitcoin is going to fall much more because also if we do look at the sell pressure right now and the realized loss across the on-chain data, what really is telling us where we are currently staying in, standing in this market, we do know that of course the majority of the losses already got realized in the market and historically speaking, these have been very good bottom indicators in uh, previous bear markets and previous yeah bear uh, corrections as well in the market. So yeah guys, make sure to do your own research, but I am, um, I've been clearly seeing a massive amount of pain already cross, uh, across in the market and that could be of course our signal that the bottom is right now in. So guys, if you did enjoy the content, make sure to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel and I hope you see to see you guys back tomorrow in another update video and like in two days from now on i will be back live streaming every single day so hopefully you guys do love that make sure to smash up the subscribe uh, sorry bell notification on the channel so you will be not missing out on any of these updates and i will catch you guys on the next one peace out